This is gonna be a small four block pondless waterfall out of Aqua Blues. It's gonna be quick, fast, three drops, kind of starting up here. Get as much of a view from this patio chairs as we can, the door, the windows. It's a blue rock and it's one of the heaviest rocks that we work with. It's cool because we have such large rocks. This is probably the medium sized kind of rock that we have to choose from right now. There's rocks bigger than that and not many rocks smaller than that. So because it's such a small feature, it'll actually look awesome to have these big rocks in, which is almost contrary to what most people think. If you look closely, and this is kind of like a little bit more of an advanced waterfall building. Typically you'd have frame rock bill rock which is that rock the water comes over and then another frame rock right so it's kind of three rocks make up your basic waterfall this one because of the shape of this rock here it's gonna actually act as not only a frame rock but our spill rock too what's cool about that is you can actually change the amount of water that gets pushed over these waterfalls and now all of our pumps are Wi-Fi capable so you can actually hook up to our smart app change the speed of the pump from your phone in the house or wherever you're at so that's a super cool feature we are going to kick this thing on for the first time water's going on the patio that means that we are officially wrapped up here What's up guys, it's Nick here from Team Aquascape. We are on a awesome, awesome project today out in Palos Park. As you can see, that's all the rock that we have delivered today. A ton of aqua blues and a half a ton of gravel. So if you can't tell by that, it's a small project. So I gotta get back there before the guys start tearing into this thing so you guys can see a good before picture. I gotta get back there so we can get to work. So Juan's already getting the fabric laid out. This patio is beautiful. And we don't want to mess any of that up at all. You can see Micho's getting all that rock raked back so we can save as much of that as possible for him. This is going to be a small four block pondless waterfall out of Aqua Blues. It's going to be quick, fast, three drops, kind of starting up here. Get as much of a view from this patio chairs as we can, the door, the windows. He's very excited. We are going to do him the honor of making this pondless as awesome as possible. And that's going to start by making sure this thing stays clean as possible. Catch you guys in just a little bit. We are cruising right along this morning. Mitchell's got all that sod out right there. That's kind of where our new bed line's gonna go. Juan's already got these blocks kind of put together and he's setting them up so we can lay out and spray out where our basin's gonna go. Once that's done, we can actually start excavating. Now that that sod's out, we'll throw all that soil right back up there to create our berm. We are flying right along this morning. That's what you get when you bring the A-team. All right guys, so we got here at eight o'clock. It's roughly about an hour from the shop. So we got our stuff ready in the morning and we got over here at barely 9.30. These guys have got the whole excavated, the liner in, the fabric in, and now what they're doing is they're test fitting all these blocks to make sure they fit. So we have to actually cut down about half of that block. We'll set it there. And for those of you guys that are a little bit newer to the channel, this basin actually is where all that water gets stored for the Pondless Waterfall. So all that water that kind of sits up in the waterfalls there is contained all down here. There won't actually be a physical pond per Say, but all this is going to be available water storage down here. So this will all get covered with gravel. You won't even see that. That's kind of our MO for this pondless system. But we will have a bib liner in here that'll kind of push that water out. So it almost fakes like a little bit of a stream down here. And once this basin's in, we're going to go ahead and fold both of these liners up, like both of these sides of the liner up like a sandwich or a burrito. We're going to backfill this so that's nice and tight. And then we're going to be able to start setting our first frame rocks for our bottom waterfall. And that's the most efficient way to cut a block right there. go first rock going in if I was that blue I would give you a geological explanation of where that rock came from and why it looks the way it does but I'm not so it's a blue rock and it's one of the heaviest rocks that we work with it's cool because we have such large rocks this is probably the medium sized kind of rock that we have to choose from right now there's rocks bigger than that and not many rocks smaller than that so because it's such a small feature it'll actually look awesome to have these big rocks in which is almost contrary to what most people think but these big rocks allow us to make these really kind of dramatic waterfalls with with just a little bit of space so this is the first frame rock for this bottom waterfall these guys are getting in and I will show you when they got it all placed. All 
Alright guys, so that first frame rock is in position. As you can see, we brought a second frame rock in. What we're going for here, I know it's hard to tell. It just looks like two rocks sitting there for no reason at all. But if you look closely, and this is kind of like a little bit more of an advanced waterfall building, I guess you could say. Typically, you'd have frame rock, fill rock, which is that rock the water comes over, and then another frame rock, right? So it's kind of three rocks make up your basic waterfall. This one, because of the shape of this rock here, it's going to actually act as not only a frame rock but our spill rock too and you'll see when this thing is running what I'm talking about but it's a super super cool way to change up a waterfall and use the rocks that you have in a little bit different way than just a basic waterfall would be built a little bit more advanced of a technique here but anybody can do it just look for a nice frame rock that has like a little built-in ledge for water to kind of spill over great great spot there once we get this waterfall in we're gonna go ahead and backfill this so you guys know that to create our next little pooling area where we're gonna set our next waterfall there our pump is going to go in here we have a two to four thousand gallon per hour pump that's going in there it's a variable speed pump what's cool about that is you can actually change the amount of water that gets pushed over these waterfalls and now all of our pumps are wi-fi capable so you can actually hook up to our smart app change the speed of the pump from your phone in the house or wherever you're at so that's a super cool feature and you guys will see that done in just a little bit first waterfall got built these guys brought in just a couple more stones up here that is totally done there's three drops now that's gonna look awesome you're gonna have water coming off both sides of that top thing a little bit of water coming through there maybe if we're lucky a little bit over there down on this bottom fall this thing came together super quick i've been running around all day haven't touched a rock other than to bring these things back here for these guys they've been rocking and rolling without me it's looking awesome we probably have another hour left of edges here finish up some plumbing put some lights in and this thing should be up and running so that's what happens when you got the best guys on the same job working together all right so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon or so and we are about ready to kick this thing on for the very first time as a famous man once said if it looks good dry you know it's gonna look good, look good wet so we are going to kick this thing on and just make sure everything, all our foam is good, all our edges are good, and really get to see this thing come to life for the first time. So without further ado, one. Nice waterfall up top there, coming down. Nice job, boys. That's awesome. Look at all the water movement up top there. You guys nailed it. Uh-oh, leaky, leaky edge. This is why we always turn it on before we completely finish our edges because every now and then there'll be an edge that we need to pull up before we bury everything just to make sure everything's good. So we visually inspect everything, make sure everything's running properly, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish up all these edges. Uh, the lights are already wired in to the customer's existing low voltage lighting. So that's all taken care of. We're gonna get one more stone up top there just to cover that spillway. And then we are just gonna finish everything off. Waterfalls look great. That's always a great feeling to turn those things on at the end of the day so without further ado we are going to finish up these edges get this site cleaned up and i think we are going to be out of here for today so nice job guys water's going on the patio that means that we are officially wrapped up here as you can see the guys did an awesome 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 job on this waterfall sounds amazing looks amazing this thing is perfect for just a nice little space like this. This will fit by a front door. This will fit in the backyard. This will fit. This area is probably only 12 by 12, maybe. So it's not that much space that's required for something like this. Unfortunately, we had a little snafu at the end of the day. We are human too. We accidentally cut the cable for this customer. So unfortunately, we obviously take responsibility for that and we are gonna come back Monday just to do a few extra things, tidy everything up, make sure everything's finished. But with that being said, today we are out of here. This thing turned out kick butt and we are excited to kind of see how this thing progresses throughout the days, throughout the weeks, throughout the years. And with that being said, I think we're out of here. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. <music>